No, it's not a perfect line. I don't... <laughs> what is that? Where did that come from? Real raw bitches, we some real raw bitches. Oh, real raw bitches, we some real raw bitches. Drama. Real raw bitches, we some real raw bitches. Uh, real pretty uh, and has to uh. deal with y'all and welcome back to my channel if you are new here go ahead and hit subscribe for me right now and if you are returning it's just me again friend as y'all could probably tell by the title today we just gonna be doing this wig install giving kind of she go vibes i was trying to go for i got my nephew right here while i'm trying to do this as well so if i keep looking over just for a quick second that's why overall i was extra scared to just even try color because like i mentioned in the video before that i'm scared to play in color i really don't like really like to get stuff that's only like compliment that only complement my skin tone so every color i try i have to like probably undertone it or like finesse it in a way that i feel like it fits me because i'm just scared of color but i really feel like I did decent with this. I'm not gonna lie. I did fully customize this wig. So I bleached it. I dyed it. I installed it and all that. Overall, I don't want this intro to be long at all. Just make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to comment down below any other content you would like to see. And you already know if your post notifications not on, you're wrong. And being the fact that I'm back, we getting straight into this video. Let's go. Okay, so y'all, today we just have this 13 by 6, 26 inch wig that I purchased from Amazon. This wig did come pre-plucked, so I didn't have to go in and do any extra plucking. But knowing me, I did anyways, and that was my very first mistake. But it's okay because trial and error. <laughs> so as you can see, as I have in this picture pinned up right here, we're going for this like half black, half blue situation with the front two strips. But instead, I'm doing green. One, I just felt like green would complement my skin tone much better. And two, I kind of wanted to go for like the she-go look. I felt like that matched up perfectly. So as you can see, I just got the front two strips sectioned off and i'm gonna go in with my bleach and my developer and mix that up till it's about a thick consistency paste like thing and then we're about to just turn this hair blonde i'm about to try to mimic exactly what i see and then we're gonna go into the green Okay, so as y'all can see now, the front two strips of the hair are already changing colors and turning into blonde. So I'm about to go ahead and start on the back. Now, when I say this, I learned so much from just re-watching this video simply. I definitely did everything completely wrong. But it's okay, because like I said, trial and error. I was not supposed to just go in with the bleach like this. I should have did it in layers. I understand that now, but like I said, I was just trying to get done at that point. Okay, so y'all at this point i just got done rinsing out all of the bleach and now i'm just drying the hair so i could get ready for dyeing At this point, as y'all can see, the hair is about dry, so I'm just about to go ahead and section off the back and keep everything clean. I'm going in with this 164 electric line by Adore, and I love their dye. That's the only brand of dye that I use. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to section off the back so I can get to the front two strips and make sure I keep everything nice and clean. And on this section, I actually did go in with layers and dye each piece one by one, except for when I got to the back, but it's okay because like I said, trial and error.
the hair that pattern that I showed y'all in the beginning of the video this is as best as I could get like I said I am not a hairstylist so this is what we did um I tried to like do the strips in the front and then do the end tips no it's not a perfect line I don't <laughs> <laughs> this wig so dirty look at the line oh my god but we're gonna try to make it do what it do okay y'all i did the best i could like i said i'm not a stylist please don't chew me up but we finna get into installing it so y'all now i'm finna just start customizing and getting everything ready putting on the cap and all of that i was just gonna do a voiceover but i felt like it was just i might as well just do this up close and person first i'm finna apply my cap and stuff on but I'm finna take my flyaways back with some got to be styling gel and just brush all that back because yeah. The hair is brushed back, yes, yes. I'm going in with my glue, finna just glue my cap down. Okay, clearly. I'm gonna just drag it around like that. What is that? Where did they come from? Just make a straight line across. Tay said I don't gotta do all them dots, so maybe I should have cut my ears out. Let me cut my ears out. I'm just gonna rub that in. Mm -hmm. So I got it all glued down and dry now. I'm gonna start blending it and then we're gonna cut it off. I'm using concealer instead of foundation because that's what Tay said to do. Trying to make sure it's like not razor cut perfect. Trying to go in on zags or something so I could have that real like ooh. Gonna just tuck the back in to keep all of that put up. I would be a cute ball here, girl. No. Okay, here we go. For one, I'm so scared of color. Like, not gonna lie, I'm so. so this is a big step for me. Like, this is me stepping out of my comfort zone for real, for real. Because when I tell you I'm so scared to play in color, I only play in two colors in my life. For one, I like for things to match up and tone up to my skin tone perfectly. That's why I was really scared to do this color. Because I was really going for like a she-go vibe. But, like, I didn't know because I didn't know if this color was going to complement my skin. And I still don't know right now. I'm just doing some shit. If I don't like it, oh well. I'll just dive back black. <laughs> so I'm just going in with it and um, using some of the foundation on the lace again. Just to put the color back in there. Because I didn't wash it and did all kind of stuff. I don't know why I didn't wait to the end of the process anyways. First, I want to just see how it looked though. I'm just want some. Whew. Okay, y'all. As far as taking a risk with color... I might not be that mad at myself. So we finna see how this come out. We still got a whole process to do. So let's just get back to it. I'm excited. Uh, so I'm just about to go in with my slick stick on top just to get the top slate. What the hell, girl? I'm really actually kind of proud of myself. As bad as this wig may look. I'm actually kind of proud of myself. I was thinking about going in and redying it because you see how the top green is like so vibrant. Let me move in closer. The top green is like so vibrant and then you can still kind of see like the blonde in it. I don't know. I don't care at this point. I did what I did. I did what I could and I feel like I did decent for my first time of really trying to customize a wig. I'm going to go in with the Argan Oil Gloss. It's the anti-humidity and gloss so you can use it as a heat protectant as well. Only thing I be moisturizing with for shine because it's very effective. You don't need a lot of it. I don't want to overly like make it overly oily. But we did dye this hair. We did bleach this hair. We did rinse this hair. Then rinse it again. So I definitely want to give it some moisturization because she looking dry. So yeah. I just can't wait to get her style. Now I'm finna go in with the hot comb. Get her extra flat. Now that she kind of pushed back, we just about to start applying. Okay, I really love how this wig lay. I'm gonna just say that right now. It's like the perfect size down there. It's falling right where it's supposed to with the cap. First, tie this hair back and clamp it up. So I'm gonna cut this hair in three sections, actually. That's exactly how I'm gonna do it. It's the tabs I cut them up in. So Tay said to just drag it straight across just like I did the cap. Just a couple of layers. Super light. I'm not going to do a lot of thick layers. They just going to. 
with something that I found in the house. And then once I do that, I'm going to just dry it like this. I think I'm going to do three layers. Okay, that's about clear. And I'm going to go in with another layer. But this time, I'm going to make the layer um like a... not. I'm not going to lay it on thick, but I'm going to put it on the cap a little bit too just so it could make like a thick band of glue instead of just this one little strip now i'm gonna do i'm on my last layer and then i'm gonna just repeat the same process with each of the other tabs hi so boom y'all so i'm just gonna go ahead and put everything down and then i ended up tying it down and just waiting a few minutes so I just repeated the same process y'all just seen to every single tab of hair and ended up tying it down. So now we're gonna just take the headband off. Okay. Now I'm gonna start cutting the tabs off. I'm gonna just try to make it as natural as possible going to like some zigzag or something. Cut the first tab off. I gotta cut out my ear tab, so I'm gonna just go ahead and customize that now. I'm trying not to cut my ear off. So this is what everything looks like. Cut. Hold on. This ain't terrible. So what I'm about to do is start going in and doing my baby hairs and stuff in there. And then we're going to get to my favorite part of installs. And that's just customizing it and flat ironing it. My baby hairs are not about to be green because that's like a big no. I'm going to use my black spray and try to like just go over them and make them back black because I'm not about to do that. I think I want to do like two baby hairs in a swoop down. You know what? Actually, just for the sake of sim simplicity, I'm going to just do the two baby hairs and keep it all regular. That I feel like I already messed up. So yeah. Go in with this black spray. Hopefully, I don't regret this. I really want to do more baby hairs than this. Like, I know I could do more, but I just don't want to make this work. How well, this whole install is just no. Okay, y'all. So I got it all kind of flat. Don't do what I do, like I always say. I'm about to go in and curl my baby hairs up. I know I'm supposed to use a tiny flat iron. I didn't purchase one of them yet, so I'm using this. Just disregard this. Curling the baby hairs up like so. Styling them with the styling gel, the got to be styling gel. extra to these baby heads i feel like i could just completely flop this whole thing but trial and error till we get better now what i'm gonna do is do my middle part bust that down real nice i'm gonna try to define the part a little bit with my concealer and then i'm gonna use the black spray to just tighten everything up this is the part after i use the concealer and now i'm about to go in with the black spray I'm not sure how to feel right now. Maybe it got to grow on me. Still haven't styled it yet, so we still finna flat iron it. I'm just, I wanted to do wine curls, but I can't find my wine curl. I think my sister took it. But it's okay, so I'm just gonna flat iron it. I want to kind of give it just a straight black, you know, buzz down anyways. So I'm just gonna stop. So I'm gonna put a little bit more um, heat protecting in it and um, shine. Damn, I'm running out. And yeah. Just to get that extra, you know, glossy look. Two thousand years later. Okay, so y'all, this is what the final look is given. And when I say I'm liking it, and then it's like, I don't know, it's like it got to grow on me, but I'm glad I took the risk. Like, this is something different for me, of course. This is like my second full install, and this is my first, like, doing the install that I personally customized. So, I don't feel like I did terrible. Like, there's been worse. Like, I'm not going to get A1 results, but to not be a stylist, I feel like this is pretty decent. Overall, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big, oops, this video a big thumbs up. 
comment down below if you would like to see more videos like this. I know I don't do a lot of hair videos, but I'm really trying to get this wig stuff down packed. So you're about to see a lot more hair stuff. And I also want to start makeup as well. So be sure to comment down below if you enjoyed this video or any other videos that you would like to see just like this. You already know if your post notification bell is not on, then you're definitely doing it wrong. Don't forget to hit subscribe and make sure you add all my socials because you see them like that with all that being said thank you guys so much for watching especially if you made it up to this point i think i started this video with 10 nails and we down about three but thanks for tuning in and i'll see you guys later next week real raw bitches we some real raw bitches oh, real raw bitches we some real raw bitches drama real raw bitches we some real raw bitches uh, real pretty uh, and has to uh.